Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna make a video, uh, and the video will be how to use JTDX with Yezu FTDX10. Okay, so at first we depends of your needs we're gonna need uh, four apps or four softwares four independent softwares so before any questions I'll tell you what at my system everything it's automatically uploading at qz.com at lotw at uh, club uh, walk my Woco workbook, which is the X uh, Keeper. <coughs> okay, so the first, let's check the settings. Let's check the settings on JTDX. First of all, file, get down, settings, journal. The journal. It's important first to add your call sign. That's very important. Your your location also. Okay, with them to information we finish. We go secondary, it's a radio. A ink, what is your radio? In my, my situation at the moment, so it's just it's FTDX ten. So FTDX, this is the refreshment in second. By default, it's coming in one. I don't like that. I do like of every 0.5 second to be uh, to get the information into the software. So this is my 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 own choice. So even if you put a one second, it's n it doesn't matter. Still working perfectly. Okay. So the next step is the serial port the serial port so you you definitely will have a different serial port so if you go on your control panel and check out for communication ports so you definitely will see your communication port with your radio next step is the is the rate so the radio ftdx 10 it's 38 400 this is the proper rates yep so this is the transmitting speed between the computer and the radio when we're using the usb cable okay so this basically is the cut control so we finish with the cut control Let's move the PTT. Okay, so the PTT again, as I mentioned before, so it's control panel, communication ports. You need to see which one is. In my case, this is communication port 7. So this is my PTT of my radio. Next step is the mode. So it's data package. It's nothing else. Once you've done this, you press test cut. If it's green, that means amazing, working. Test PTT, if the radio starts transmitting, amazing, that means working. Next step is uh, moving to audio. Okay, audio. The input audio, it's always, in your case, should be also the same. Line in the input line it's USB audio codec that's the the codex of the Yezu FTDX10 the output also the speaker it's USB audio codec so easy next step just leave it leave this one before you you sure you know what you're doing this it's a lot of uh, helpful information on internet 
so you may check the TS macros what is mean how to use it and yeah so just quick one you see this is the my macro thanks 73 and Merry Merry Christmas I'm using all this just for the Christmas by the way okay reporting now the reporting a TCP server it's only this part absolutely important if you want to use this with with your grid tracker this is very very important so the the first TCP port is 52001 this is your local address on the computer don't change in non case don't you don't just is that that the address 127.0.0.1 is no local host do not put a local host put the IP address and uh, the second UDP server is uh, the port is 2333 so 2333 okay this is the important very very important step if you want to get the proper working the JTDX to get proper working with the rest of the programs so enable automatic working of QSO yes yes absolutely because in my case I got everything automatically uploaded to the, a lot of pages a lot of workbooks so everything is still in there distance to comments yes take this one if you want yes I do want them so that's why it's in here decoding message yes I do want that okay this is the next the next step is the primary U, UP, UDP server a UDP as I mentioned before it's around 27.0.0.1 don't change that in non case just don't a UDP server this is 2237 so you got three UDP ports it should be changed in non case except if you have some app who it's using those ports you can change them but in general don't touch it it's working perfectly with those numbers take the prevent this is unconfirmed messages calls by UDP so what is mean it's mean uh, any kind of errors or issues it won't be work no you're gonna pop a message at your grid app i'll show you that later on and you're gonna you 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 may have to confirm that on manual mode okay frequencies next step basically the jtdx it's coming with all the frequency so you may change this it's absolutely up to you guys see but it just coming already it's already done so it's just plug and play notifications yeah you can change the colors of of your information if you're running information who is calling CQ what color should they have the people you have contact already uh, color all this you just take your time and check all this it's really helpful it's really important to me also uh, next step it's it's filters okay this step it's also a kind of important if if you're hunting if you're hunting um, some special DX uh, something like this so you you just need the, the call sign this is your place and on the main app I'll show you how to I showed you that's we don't need this basically or uh, because uh, I think if you're running uh, JTDX if you're working with JTDX you must be front of your computer 
don't be bot don't be someone who is automatic just winning the the numbers no 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 i don't like that i'm not that kind of person yeah all right so basically bunch shoulder uh, configuration you know what i mean right this is the decoding parameters leave the one like this don't touch it it's working if it's working don't touch it uh, but by the end just press ok that's it right so this is the band yeah many people just use it I honestly I I just like more to see how the how the works is running here and see which uh, frequency it's free to use and all this but this is really really helpful because you may see for some free spots like this one yes this one but usually I'm not working with that we shut them off and that's it okay oh, someone call me I'm sorry mate I just doing my video at the moment I call back next time sorry about the R8 CFG I hope see you back again okay so this is the basic and the important configuration on JTDX next step next step it's your power never please remember that never in no case put a top power of your radio because burning of your radio it's absolutely a hundred percent sure the magic smoke gotta come out a magic smoke guys my license in uk i'm allowed earning 10 volts yeah so i'm earning five i'm always working with five make sure my radio it's fine i'm okay i'm telling you five depend on the band conditions it's making a magic also 10 it's making a magic have a good antenna have a good good cables good antenna cables good connectors that's that's the magic you don't need uh, amplifiers you don't need kilovolts you don't need that no 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 don't you just forget them that's the digital mode a digital is completely different of the voice digital don't need a power need to be a proper configuration between the audio antenna cables radio everything should be done in the proper way to get working okay that's it let's get for the power so the power i got this in about 10.8 decibels db so that's my power you, s you need to check the your one you may be on different on the different uh, way so basically that's that's the the, the, the important things about the jtdx by the end of the video i put the screenshot of my settings of my radio so you may see and see how how i got the how i got this and you may just copy paste to new radio i'm using those settings now in about i think two yeah two years so i never changed them that's it once it's done it's done working okay guys so the second the second app it's gonna be grid tracker it's very very useful app but this is gonna be on the second video because this one it's too long and it's gonna take a lot of time to upload them to youtube so thanks for watching I see you in the second part of the video hope you enjoyed the video please like share comment